Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new Let's Play. We are going to play Choose your destination. the Ice World. Uh, this one. So, we're going to do six players. We're going to play on far. We are going to change Artica to here. the Night Queen. We're going to pick a Jon Snow. Here. As you can probably guess, this is a Game of Thrones themed playthrough, and we've made one other special Your guest. Starts here. Sam Tarly. So Jon Snow and Sam Tarly lead the Night's Watch, and we are heading north of the wall to fight the Night Queen, who is leading the White Walkers. And I'll explain a little bit more as we get in. We're going to turn Hero Resurgence to Never. We're going to turn off all other victory conditions. And we need to change the difficulty to a Brutal. Let's go. Okay, so the premise of the story here is Jon Snow is heading north. He is, um, after he was stabbed at Castle Black, he has awoken a changed man, and he is becoming more beast-like. Let's just pause for the introduction. So he is becoming more beast-like. This is why I've picked wolf mounts, because his communication with the dire wolf is getting even stronger, and he is becoming more in tune with the beasts. And so we are going to be focusing a lot on the nature affinity, particularly in terms of beasts, summoning beasts, and the mechanic between having animals in the uh, party. We've got Arctic Adaptation, because obviously we're playing in a frozen world. And um, the other thing that Jon Snow is struggling with is he is actually morphing into a White Walker himself. And I'll show you his skills in a minute. We've gone for feudal because obviously we're human and that's the most natural trait for him. But I thought it would be very interesting to pick pyromancy to see how this affects our gameplay. Because obviously all the units in this world are going to be frozen units. They're going to have frozen frost damage to all of their um, attacks. So I'm going to counter it with Pyromancy. I've got no idea if this is going to work or if this is a stupid idea. I have never played this map. And I have also picked Banner Lords, which gives us more, um, more Rally of Legiuses, more Rally of Legiuses, Legis, more often. And we start with 25 Allegiance with our nearest free city. We've got Fabled Hunters. Um, which gives us a ranged unit and rank to our skirmish and ranged units and when we claim infestations, wonders and nodes we get 100% resource. So that is what we have picked as our starting skills. We've got Good Night and Call of Glory. Call of Glory, I love that spell early on. So that is us. Let's check our units. We've got a support, a polearm, and two ranged. And let's look at Jon Snow. So he is... What was I going to say? Um, so he's got frost resistance. Um, because of our cold adaptation, which is nice. I think that's what that is. Yeah, so we get 52% less damage or, or less likely to receive damage um, so he's mounted on his direwolf obviously we have a scout and this is the premise of our playthrough so let's see where we are we're bottom left so that's a good start the um, the trait that we have reveals the starting city straight away what is that trait banner lords um, so let's go. I'm going to take this slow. I'm going to enjoy it. And let's see how we got on. Okay, so we've got infestation here. 
we definitely want to clear that out because we've got a um, we get more resources for that. We have a pickup there which doesn't look guarded. We've got a pickup here and we've got a pickup there. No enemies nearby, which is very odd. Um, negotiation succeeded. What's this? Pact of Cooperation. We'll give you the Whispering Stone straight away. What trade do you have? Four gold for production, silver fruit. Um, okay, good to know. I won't do anything with that at the moment. Set production. So we'll do town storehouse and we're going to do a second scout. So we've given our only Whispering Stone away. I think I'm gonna go for the Fiery Arrow straight off the bat. I would like to summon Lesser Magma Spirit, but I'm not gonna waste mana on locking that, so I'm gonna go for the Fiery Arrows. Going for the Scout upgrade could also be quite good. Um, so we've got a road here and a road there. No road here, but it does look like we're cut off slightly. Is there anything of interest? Okay, that looks like a research post. So, and a lot of signposts and a farm. Hello. Okay, so we've got a player there. Okay. Interesting gold wonder. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is that a um, a banner, um, an upgrade, a, a level, an experience banner? When you kill that stack, you get experience. We've got an outlook post there. This is Stableton. Um, let's just get my bearings again. So we've got an outpost there. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a, um, I think that's a silver wonder. That's a bronze wonder. Okay, I highly doubt there's any players here. An outwatch there, which would be quite nice. Another bronze wonder. Um, another bronze wonder. An outpost up there. Okay. So... Going through here is going to be very slow, and the player is all the way over here. So we... That's another wonder there. Okay, we... Um... Okay, I think we, we've got no enemies, so we'll go straight for the infestation zone. Interesting, I don't even know where that is. Um, we will pick this up and then go back. Okay, so we've got a wonder there. That's a bronze wonder. That was the first ever wonder I played in my first attempt of any wonder, and I got squad wiped. So I have trauma. Okay, so we've got a pickup there. So I'm going to continue down this path. Probably not the best idea. Uh, evil presence, yep. Okay. Okay, if I go through here, it's going to take a long time. So I will go back up, grab this, and then journey up through this road up through there. Okay, where is this infestation? 
Seriously, where is it? Oh, very nice. Um... Okay, I am genuinely confused as to where this infestation is. Okay, there it is. So let's boost a forester. So we'll go for this forester up here because we get the production. So that, that boosts our storehouse. Affected by a blizzard. Okay, this fight could actually genuinely be quite challenging. Uh, let's manual. I mean, we'll win the fight, but how many? I don't want to lose any units. Okay, so we've got we've got a blizzard, so. All, uni all my units will suffer 6 frost damage every turn. And if my units are wet, they freeze. So there isn't going to be any wet in this. Um, so 6 frost damage every turn. But I let me just check my other units because I'm pretty sure they will have frost resistance. No, they don't. Why is it only Jon Snow that has it? Added to resistance to calculate damage sustained from frost damage reduction. Okay, why is only Jon Snow got that? Interesting. Okay. I hadn't seen this map before. Very cool. Well, good job, Baz. Yeah, first time on this map. Okay, we've got a nice choke point here, which we need to hold because our melee units are lacking. And the only problem is, is they could come round and flank here, so let's see what they do. So we have time to react if they flank. Sundered off. Hmm. 
That really is not good, is it? So they're in Obscured. Um, I really do want to take that scout out. <sighs> okay, this is tricky. Why is this only 20%? Quick reflexes. Man alive. Okay. Gosh, they're taking a lot of damage. I am very worried about this pole arm unit. I think he could die. So I decided to go for that unit to get my morale up and to hopefully reduce their morale. If I'd taken a shot against him, I would have had a retaliation further reducing my health. I probably would not have given enough health for them to lose a unit, so they would still have the same damage output. Um, yeah, this is... We might survive. I don't think so. I think... Yeah, we're going to definitely die. Ugh. I don't know how else I could have avoided that. I mean, they are incredibly strong. Ah, I suppose that's the world of Brutal. Okay, we will do... I think we'll do a heal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's just punishing. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, we need to go in here. Uh -huh. Let's reduce the scout's damage. genuinely don't know how I could have played that any better. Um, yeah, that that was just a tough battle. I had a feeling I would lose a, a, a unit. Okay, another ring of deflection, that's very nice. So two piece of equipment, grant three defense, three resistance against physical rain. That is very nice. That is very nice. Okay, um, I suppose I should be happy with that. Let's see where we are at now. We'll obviously head back to base. I am going to finish my scout early. We have finished our storehouse. I'm going to go for workshops. So I need a farm. We're going to buy a population. And we're going to build a farm. And I am um, going to take the extra food. Oh. 
Oh wow, you can move very far. Wow, another uh, piece of equipment. Sorry, I didn't mean to press that. Okay, I've missed that. Oh, we've got another scarf, so that's cool. Let's go up there and see what this is. 68 production, that's very nice. Do I want to go around the back here? Um, it's not ideal, is it? But we're here, so we'll, we'll continue. Oh wow, I've built the workshop already. Okay, we're going to go for the vendor. That builds that. That's a very nice start. Uh, almost too quick. Um, okay, we definitely want the town hall, but I absolutely want to boost that. So I could really put our production really ahead. Um, so Stonemason needs two farms, so we can build a farm again next turn, which I think we'll do. It's a lot, but it will it will snowball our production significantly this early on. Oh, I forgot to put a unit on to build. That's unfortunate. Um, let's get a pole arm. Oh, another infestation. Okay, that's very nice. We got two infestations here? That's hard to tell. It looks like we've got two, if I'm honest. So we've got a um, fire. What is this magic? This is Arcom. Arcom blood. That's a gold mine. this are you for real this must be a gold wow I literally have not seen this unit before that is just fantastic holy And I haven't seen this unit either. Well, we're not going to be coming here anytime soon. And they've already started to spawn, it looks like. But it's showing they're asleep. So, what is this? They're already spawning. Um, oh, my Lord. I don't think it's even worth coming down here. But there are literally no enemies nearby. I, I, this is a very strange spawn. Um, okay, I'm a little bit worried that this unit here is going to chase me. Okay, so this all belongs to this spawner. I reckon there's one here. Just have a feeling that there is a second spawner. Because this is a lot of land he's already taken for turn three. Okay. Okay, so what unit is this? Uh -huh. 
Okay, and turn. This is crazy. Um, I really don't know what to do here. I mean, pretty much all of these armies were too strong for me right now. I think the only thing we can do is get back into our city and heal, and we'll go for this pickup. Uh, ready to cast the spell? Yes, please. Fire arrows. Damage spell. I'm going to go for the Searing Blades. Wait. That is for melee, isn't it? I've literally got no melee units in my army. Oh. That is hilarious for all the wrong reasons. Okay, that banner would be useful. What's a pick up there? I can pick that up with this. Um, we'll go for this. Okay, you've moved. Uh, okay, let's see where this goes. I didn't realize I'd already gained a population. That was a mistake, but that's fine. So the stonemason has been done very quickly. That will really boost us going forward. And that means we can build the town hall. So what we want to do now then is a quarry. Oh, there's another unit there. So that's good that we came down here. So I'm going to put the quarry here, I think. Let me just check. Empty, empty. Come on. Okay, so there's nothing in that one. So we'll do it in this one. Okay, you've moved. Empire skill. That's very nice. This is also very nice. Um, I'm not sure we need that one right now though. What's this one? Defeating an infestation grants you a unit based on the infestation defeated. I'm not gonna be clearing any infestation for the foreseeable future. Um, I'm going to go for that one. I think that will come into, into use. Actually, that's a good question. Where should we go with our second city? To be honest, this would have been not really ideal. 
This is really not great, is it? So we need to go up there and do a city up there. We can't do anything here. Which is a shame because that's probably where we should naturally build our second city. Ah, but I am not. I mean, that's. I mean, this is worse than a wonder for Pete's sake. Um. Okay, we've now got three units all of a sudden. I am ploughing for my gold here, but I need these units. Uh -huh. Okay, you've already moved, that's perfect. So now we've got a full stack. Let's get, what, what have you got there? Okay, that's perfect. Um, right, so, do we want to do a second scout, third scout? this there to remind me this was empty uh, no, it wasn't empty it was oh. had um, cross spirits on it oh, there's a nice outpost there is this taken okay we'll go up to the outpost up here What was that pop-up it just said? Uh -huh. I think that was the uh, hole I'm in. Name day celebration. You receive an official invitation from the friendly Duchess of Stapleton. The great King John Snow. We are we of Stapleton hereby humbly invite you to join our, the name day celebration of our Duchess Asia Cardock. We would be honoured if you would attend. We look forward to your gift. A gift? You're invited to celebrate. Ah, oh, Pete's sake. Seriously? Ah. Oh. Okay, this is the least gold. Our relations will pick up pretty quickly, so that's a terrible start. Okay, fiery arrows, let's go. This could be big, or it could be a disaster. Let's have a look. Uh -huh. units. Wait, have they got summons? Oh man, alive! Man, alive! Welcome to the world of Brutal. Okay. So three melee and, geez, is that a summon one time or is it, a, is it on a cooldown? Okay, it's a one off, right, still doesn't help. Hmm. 
Okay, so we don't have a great position to funnel them in. So the only thing left to do is to try and stop them from going into cover or into obscuring, which they will be able to do there and there. Okay, so we're all three in obscuring. Doesn't really help though, because I've got three melee units. Okay, we'll put you there. You go here. And then you go here. Let's check if they've got fire resistance. No. They're not vulnerable to fire. I had a feeling they would be. So my choice of going pyromancy has proven to be a terrible idea. And this guy's got two fire resistance. So we've, we've checked you. You've got fire resistance as well. Jeez, this map is loving me right now. Okay. Um, okay, so they didn't come forward. That's interesting. Uh -huh. No, I didn't mean to do that. It was the wrong unit. I thought I was on my polearm unit. I was going to do a heal. That's very frustrating. <sighs> okay, let's see what spells we've got. We'll do a Call of Glory. Um, do I want to focus on my melee? I probably do. Start with a heal, uh -huh. and we will do another. I'll do the other side this time. Wow, two misses. Uh -huh. That is a great start. He only has range, isn't that correct? Yeah. So actually, it makes sense to put you there. this do? Now I'm bringing my support over for stand together. Uh -huh. 
Okay. That went well. Mr. Snow uh -huh. has leveled up. Woo! Um, okay, the first thing I always do with this is to get stone together. Okay, that had a unit on. I'm going to follow this road and then turn right for the pickup. Okay, another infestation. Uh, you're going to the lookout tower, which has a nice road. Okay, let's check our capital. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna... good. What is this? Is this production? It looks like production. Let's just check our capital for the buildings. Okay, Scout, I'm going to send you this way. So, Town Hall. I need the blacksmith. Build two quarries. Okay. We will build a market in the meantime. What's the Imperium? That's fine. Let's... Okay, we really need to think about Second City. Let's wear bustles. Okay, right, let's let's establish city. I have to build one up here. I've got to. So I could build one here. I think that'd be very nice. And then maybe a third one down in there. Or if I just go with two cities but make them very strong and then we could do a third one down there on the left. Not a lot of space there though. Okay, so third city is going to be basically where this lookout tower is. Uh, sorry, second, my second city. So what I need to do... John is busy with these units, and that's more important right now for the experience. So I am going to go and see how much it costs for a hero. 350, man alive! Ah... This crazy amount of money. Okay, I'll do that next turn and then I'll get that hero to walk around.
Gosh, this is tricky. Okay, self tongue fruit that gives me what whispering stone grants one allegiance okay okay this would have been quite a good city actually man they had a t tier five four three two and a one I mean, the other alternative is I could buy this city, but I prefer to have my vassals. Another alternative is to come up here and build a city here. I think this is a good spot here, but it is very far away from my capital. This is such a shame. Can I build it even though the infestation's there? They're going to constantly spam units at me, which is going to be very annoying. But it is something we can deal with until we're strong enough to take it out. Just means we're not going to be. I mean, the good thing is, is we are only taking out one enemy, so we don't need to go off campaigning and fighting around the map. We don't need to do that for a long period of time. So we can take our time, build good cities, build up our units, lean more towards doing research so we get our tomes quicker. And then um, I really don't know what to do here. I am seriously considering putting a city right there. That does mean we need to get a second stack up very quickly. Jon Snow's only just leveled up, so could we go for a level one? It seems a bit ridiculous, especially since it's only 100 gold extra for two, uh, two additional levels. So I don't think we will do that. So we need to clear out these guys ASAP, what's more important. So we've got a fruit there, that's going to be a strong army. take this one. It says it's a low risk battle, but it's not. Okay, they are all range. Once you get in close to range, you can kind of control them quite well. thing is I don't want to waste time moving back and forth between these units so if I take that one then I can come up there there and then across to the city my concern with building a city over here is it's just so far away but I think this would be a brilliant spot um, yeah and if we don't go there quickly it's probably gonna get taken I think I think we have we have to go here. We've got no choice. It's it's um we've been shafted on that one. Okay, so we haven't healed because we're in a blizzard. Are, are we? I suspect we're in a blizzard. Yeah, we're in a current blizzard. 
Um, I don't know how long blizzards last for. We should be able to take you and take you. Oh. Okay, if we go for this stack here, we're going to get a lot of damage. And we can't heal. So then we can't take this guy anyway. This is the priority because it's already in our empire. So I'm going to do this one. Um, I'm just looking at the time. Okay, I have to leave it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will start the next episode in this fight. Take care.